round of attacks has been launched against Ukraine's capital. Officials say Russia targeted Kyiv with suicide drones provided by Iran. It comes as Ukraine continues making gains in the southern region of the country. ABC's Ika Jachi has more now. Plumes of smoke can be seen rising into the sky in Kyiv after the city was rocked by Russian aerial attacks early Monday morning. In a social media post, Ukrainian President Zelensky claims Russia attacked the capital city with mostly self-destroying drones supplied by Iran. Iran has denied providing Russia with the weapons. Ukraine's defense ministry claims their troops shot down 37 Russian drones and three cruise missiles. Still, the blast hitting several residential buildings, according to Kyiv's mayor. Emergency workers combing through the rubble, looking for survivors. ABC's Brick Clenet is on the ground. Firemen were able to pull out several people, but at least three were killed, including, we're told, a pregnant woman. Despite Russia's latest assault, Ukraine still on the attack in other areas. Ukraine claims its forces have taken back control of nearly 100 villages in just 10 days, mostly in the southern Kherson region. Over the weekend, two gunmen opening fire in the Belgorod region, killing 11 Russian volunteer soldiers and injuring 15 more as they were preparing to deploy to Ukraine. Russia calling it a terror attack. As tensions continue to rise, the U.S. and NATO kicking off nuclear training exercises in Europe. The pre-planned drills involving 14 countries with up to 60 aircraft. Russia planning to hold its own nuclear drills this month that could include missile tests. And Ukraine's nuclear chief says the Zaporizhia nuclear power plant is once again disconnected from the power grid after rushing shelling. Now, the plant was running on diesel generators after a short-term voltage drop. Ukraine's nuclear energy company calling for a demilitarization around the power plant. In Washington, Ike Jachi for Channel 6 Action News.